Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now this is not the normal sort of restoration I would do but uh, I was very kindly sent this toy by Heath Wolford and it's something that uh, intrigued me just because I sort of remember having these as a child. These were called Pocketeers and released by Tomy and uh, Palatoy here in the UK from sort of 1975 onwards and these are simple sort of games where you play uh, by moving sort of various parts with your hands here and just sort of trying to complete little sort of puzzle tasks and this one uh, was a called, uh, let's see what it's called, on the back it says it's called Secret Passage, uh, but over the years uh, someone has removed the sticker and the sticker was there to make this game quite hard to play. But let's have a little quick uh, play of this game anyway. The idea is you uh, drop all the balls down to one side and then drop them up onto the top and if you turn this little dial here the balls drop and then will randomly go down this little maze and you're supposed to catch them with this little catcher here. So if I do this, let's see if I can catch some not very easy to do at all because I'm watching through the camera. Oh, there you go, caught one. And once that's dropped into that section, it goes into the score point at the bottom. But obviously this game, there should be a sticker over this part of the game to make it incredibly hard to see where the ball's going to come out. At the moment you can sort of follow it down, but obviously a child has got bored of playing this and ripped the sticker off. Now Heath uh, sent this in to me and asked whether it was something I would like to restore. And really, it's for a fairly simple restoration, but it's something that should be restored so that it can be played again. So let's get on and get this uh, little pocket here back up and running. So the, really, the only things that need doing on this game are to make a new sticker here. But before we make the new sticker, we might as well uh, remove the residue of this old sticker. Uh, now, if you've watched my channel before, you'll know the best way to remove old sticker residues is to use lighter fluids. So I have some here and I'm just going to soak the remains of this sticker in lighter fluid and that will dissolve uh, the old glue and on a sticker like this it's already sort of fairly easy to remove so I'm just going to use my fingernail to scratch away at uh, the, the sort of paper part and remove that and then I'll use some uh, kitchen towel to remove the sort of final bits of the residue. You can see it just sort of comes off fairly easily it just turns into a bit of a sort of a paper mess really it's the first stage we've got to get through before we can put this back together. So I have some kitchen towel here and I'm just going to wipe away the paper and then we can put another bit of uh, lighter fluid on that and just start removing any of the sort of last bits of sticker residue. You see that cleans up pretty easily and so that is now as clean as it needs to be. The rest of the toy actually doesn't look too bad, it's in pretty nice condition, it's just that sticker that was removed. So what we've got to do now is make a replacement version of this sticker. Now I've done some research online and there's a website that lists all of the uh, pocketeers that were made in the sort of mid 70s to mid 80s and there were an awful lot of them, they come in various names but we know that this one is called uh, Secret Passage because it has the name on the back but this version was actually released as a few other different uh, sort of title games with different names but luckily I found someone who's got a picture of the original sticker so I'm going to take that into Photoshop and recreate it. So let's go ahead and do that.
Now it took me about 30 minutes to make this sticker and as you can see I've now printed this out onto some uh, glossy uh, sticky backed paper. This is actually a fairly complicated thing to make just because uh, it's not using a standard font so I had to create each letter by hand and sort of try and make it look as accurate as possible to the original sort of 1970s style. But you can see that looks pretty reasonable and I got the measurements just by measuring the little uh, sort of hole. You can see here there's a sort of indentation uh, on this the front of this pocket here so I used that as my guide for how big this should be. So I've now just got to uh, cut this out, get my scissors and carefully cut around the edge of this. And there we go, there's the sticker and that should fit nice and neatly on there. And as you can see once that's in place it makes the game very hard to play, or a lot harder to play anyway. So what we can do is let's uh, stick this on. I can get the backing paper off, like so, stick this over the top, like so, and there we go, that is the uh, secret passage game ready to play again. So if I get all of these balls up to the top section, you can now see when I turn this, Oh, it's very hard to tell where the balls are going to come out because they are completely hidden by uh, the sticker. In fact, I can't even get a single one. I can see why the child removed that at the time because it is a quite a hard game to play. But anyway, that is the uh, Secret Passage Pocketeer game restored. Sometimes restorations don't need to take a lot of time or sort of be that complicated at all. This one was a fairly straightforward restoration for me, just remaking this sticker. And as you can see, it does make quite a difference. I'll put the uh, PDF file for this sticker on toyploy.com because uh, there may be someone else out there who has this game that needs this sticker. I very much doubt it, but uh, you never know. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.